important that uh, the, uh, the project that we're undertaking brings everybody together in the community. I think the County Cricket Club have got a responsibility to encourage more and more people to play cricket and help them uh, to achieve their dream. I see uh, Park Avenue as being a flagship uh, regeneration opportunity for the community. So we've got cricket being played here in the summer every day of the week, every hour that, that is available. And in order to do that, we have to work with the community to understand what, what they want and also to put the facilities in place that they are going to, to enjoy and respect. Well, I think that's from Last Man Stand and Taj Bhatt is very much involved in everything that's going on uh, in the uh, Bradford and Leeds communities. Um, and he's been working with Last Man Stands and we've got eight teams are playing in the, the Ramadan Cup and uh, they've got a beautiful evening for it uh, and uh, it, looks, uh, it looks to be very competitive behind me. An opportunity to play at a higher standard. So they come in, they get playing for their own cities, they play four or five games in their own cities and then each city then picks their own best team. They have an inter-city quarter-finals, semi-finals and finals. We get people looking at these players, they recommend the best two players to come down for trials on the day of the final. So we'll have the two teams of the final, but we'll also have 24 of the players come down and they will get uh, coached by the ECB performance team, they'll get coached by the MCC Young Cricketers coaches. It's also a way of meeting new people that they don't probably play with or play against. So there are that. After the games, we all go and have a curry. They love the games, but they also love meeting new people and they love the curry afterwards. So there's lots of different things going on to try and give these players that other opportunity to be picked, that other opportunity to play at high standards and to play a little bit more cricket. The target group is to people who don't get the opportunity to play at a Premier League level. And the reason is they're usually busy on a Saturday when Premier League cricket takes place. Now this happens to affect a very large percentage of the, of the Asian population. So what we're trying to do is it's not specific to any population or any group or anything. It's open to everybody. It does tend to uh, be, make that opportunity for those for those young players. Moeen Ali is, is one of the great role models, and, it, and uh, I've just been talking to some of the lads there and said, when their when their children were first young, they wanted to play for Pakistan, they wanted to play for India, they wanted to play uh, for Sri Lanka. Now, because of Moeen Ali, they all want to play for England, which is absolutely fantastic. Adil Rashid, the Yorkshire lad who's playing as well, he's, he's a great role model for people around here, and he's done phenomenal. It's just by being there and talking to somebody playing and showing that it's open and it's, it's potentially possible for anybody. That is the best thing we can ask for. And we need more of those type of role models and hopefully there's more coming in the pipeline and they'll get more chances. And there's some great young uh, cricketers out there that, that, that hopefully will get a chance. Hopefully some of them will come from the Lords having a City Cup. Alhamdulillah, it is one of the biggest occasions. All of us, myself, the management team, the players, the children, the supporters, everybody wanted to see something like this happening, especially on a ground like this, Eddingley. To achieve something like this, I think big credit goes to the league and uh, the people behind it, like Taj Bhatt and everybody else who is involved in the committee itself, and ECB who have done this great job this time round that they brought these young people through to play on a stage like this, which is their dream. It's like a footballer playing in an FA Cup Wembley final. This is what it's like. You can't put it in a couple of words. You can't put it in a sentence. It is their dream come true. It is something they always longed for. They played for this when they were young, dreamed about this. And today they've achieved something. And thanks all to the Kaide Azam League committee and the people behind it. But we just don't want one-off thing. What we require is this to continue. Just one-off is no good. It has happened in other counties elsewhere. To get youngsters more interested, the parents more interested than the clubs, we have to have this on a regular basis. I think it's massively important. I think there's there's a whole facet of different areas in terms of what the coach does in terms of being a role model, being somebody that's a good coach to teach them to play cricket, somebody that they can look up to uh, and just inspiring kids and motivate them, motivating them to want to play cricket and enjoy cricket as much as they can. I think the role's getting bigger and bigger now. You've got a, a lot of kids that are coming through um, and, and, and to coach them and work them through, not just for cricket but just for their mentoring as well in terms of uh, what they're going to go out into the community and deliver as well, I think it's really beneficial. Uh, it's introducing them to cricket and the, the skills and the game 
and give them um, a sense of uh, fun and belief and access to an opportunity. Whenever I'm coaching, all that I see is a cricketer, regardless of their ability or their age or anything like that. So it's just about developing them as much as we can. Now that we've got more and more Asian coaches coming through, yeah, I think that development is, is definitely definitely on the rise, um, where we, we are going to more Asian coaches to uh, for assistance and maybe understanding. Maybe maybe we understand the cultural differences between um, the kids that we work with, and maybe we can motivate them slightly different. Coaching, I've coached for many years. 15, 20 years, uh, and I just feel as if I need to sort of go to another level, learn new skills, ideas, uh, and just pick up from people who've, you know, who are professionals in the game. Um, and I, I want to go back and help my coaches, my volunteers, and also obviously going to benefit the kids. What's a coach, and you know, it's a role model and somebody you look up to. And I think regardless of whether you're, you know, South Asian or not South Asian, I think ultimately that coach should be of the right ilk to make sure that they're welcoming of everybody regardless. I think we, we're short on coaches at the moment and we need experienced, more experienced coaches, Asian coaches coming through, particularly particularly in the Yorkshire region. We haven't got enough, um, although there's a lot developing. I understand there was a course here that uh, pulled through 18, 20 coaches and I'm just delivering on one at the moment where there's 18 coaches. So hopefully from there, we'll get a lot more coaches coming through. If we can take our example, played representative matches. One reason or another, we weren't able to uh, kick on. But now that we are in our 50s and we're, we're grey, we understand now. One of the reasons could be that we didn't have the talent, but we believed that we did. We believed that you know, we didn't have the information and the support that's required in order for a, a young person to, to actually become a, you know, a really good cricketer. We've uh, had opportunities, but the opportunities were very, very limited. Um, in those days, 35 years ago, uh, things were not quite as they are now. I think basically a lot of it w uh, was actually to do with the, the amount of support we got. We played with whatever talent that we had as individuals and we thought we had plenty of talent, but the opportunities weren't there. You had to be exceptionally good at what you were doing in order to shine out and to be accepted and you know to be given a chance. Quite a few players now coming through. Adil Rashid, Ashad over at Durham, Shazad, you know, who's at Sussex now. So those are just the three young people that are coming through now. There's a number of other young people from the ethnic minorities that are on the books with Yorkshire and other counties. So without doubt, we're moving forward. Today we're launching a couple of projects. One is Hamara's Dementia Project, and we are linking that with sporting memories. Uh, and Yorkshire County Cricket Club, so they are supporting us in all this. So basically, it's a launch of Hamara becoming uh, dementia friendly uh, for the local community. Thank you.